Part of that, when we get to the chorus, everything, oh, everything. I want the music to be quiet, and I want to hear you say what you believe. Because the word everything covers a pretty broad spectrum. I mean, if you're healed but broke, that don't work. Come on. If you're rich and sick, that don't work. Come on, say everything. That Jesus suffered for, died and rose again for, belongs to me. Come on, give him a mighty shout. Come on. Everything. over the place. Come on, say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I'm yielding to you tonight. To you. There to not be a fabric of pride in me tonight. I'm here to receive. Here to receive. I want to be a lightning rod, lightning rod. For, faith for faith that touches you tonight. Touches you. I'm walking out of here different. Out of here. Whatever, I Whatever I came in with, it's about to die a death right here. I receive right now from head to toe every death sentence canceled, every surgery canceled, supernatural signs and wonders right here. as long as the ladies. You may be seated all over the place tonight, Patrick. Good to have you tonight. We're going to be singing some songs here in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be quite an evening, and it's going to happen so quickly, and before you know it, it's going to be time to say amen, and we'll see you tomorrow morning and tomorrow night. So while we have this small paradigm of moment of time, God knows why we've set this, these nights aside, Pastor George. And thank you for doing this. Where are you? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> to believe in it so much, Pastor George and Terry, to believe in it so much that you set it aside and, and allow nights of just demonstration. It's getting smaller and smaller and smaller of places that want to do that. But everything around this property is just written with L-O-V-E all over it. And that's what, you know, we always say the power of God, but really the power of God was the love of God in action. It's him wanting to back up what he says that by his stripes that you're really healed. And so this is all, and you don't need me to touch you tonight. You don't need me to, I mean, this, this place right now is permeating. You could fry an egg on the floor right now. I'll tell you. So if you hit this floor, something's going to happen, or if you don't hit it. 
All you have to do tonight is to believe. But see, see, it, as easy as that sounds, it takes different things for each of us to believe. Everything, oh, everything, but to believe. And tonight, you're here in a corporate setting where you can, you can have your faith and hook up with other people's faith. And I expect things to happen. I expect things, people to get healed of things that it's even going to shock you. Most of the miracles we see are happening right now in the meetings is shocking the very people. Because the first, word, uh, first words of the mouth, I don't believe, I don't believe this happened, I don't believe this. And I say, shh, don't say that. But it's so true because God goes, what, above and beyond what we can even ask or think and sometimes even what we believe. But he's here tonight to heal long-term illnesses. Cancel scheduled surgeries. Lift the sentence of death off of you. I mean, he's here to break anything generational. He's here to help you sleep all night. Wake up the next morning refreshed. He's here to help you what had not any aches or pains. After 40, after 50, after 60, after 70. Come on, say amen. Amen. And all you have to do tonight is just pay attention. When it comes your moment or when something begins to change in your body, it can happen so very quickly. Why is it that if the beginning of every disease, there's a symptom, and we take our symptoms very, very serious, enough to even think that you have cancer before you have an x-ray? Or you have a brain tumor, or you have MS, or, or you have Parkinson's, or, you know, because you're on the internet way too much. Come on, say amen. <laughs> or maybe just on the wrong page. Maybe I should say it like that. But the worst thing to do is to get on the internet to study your condition. No, get in Isaiah 53 and study your healing. Right? Is that right? Is that right? But why do we take the symptom of a disease... Very, very, oh, I had a bad day. I I, I forgot that. And I forgot that. (gasps) Maybe I'm getting Alzheimer's. (laughs) And if somebody down in your family line has something, (gasps) and it's in the family line, it's in the history. (gasps) And how quickly you reach a conclusion over something that is just a, a mild symptom. Why is it that whenever you're in a meeting and something that is a symptom disappears, you don't take the healing that serious? Because there's a rhythm to every disease. Disease has a rhythm to it. Pain has a rhythm to it. We should not be able to come into a room this size and break the rhythm of disease. I see better. Boy, that's a miracle in motion. My pain left. That's a miracle in motion. If you jump on it, if you take your removal of a symptom as serious as the what? The symptom that you received. How much does it take for you to believe? Why do you come into a church service like this tonight and all of a sudden your eyes start clearing up? That's a hand hand sign that something's taking place. If the bird drops meat twice a day, something's going on around you. Come on. How long does it take you to figure out, hey, something's going on. That bird can't do that every day, right? The first day, twice a day, because that's your pancreas empties twice a day. So twice a day, that food drops and you eat for free. You think, well, that bird just might be on drugs or something. Come on, say amen. (laughs) Or me might be confused. But every day, the Bible says, timely, every day. Elijah had to know something is going on around here. The quicker you can jump on the removing of, and I don't care how small it is. The olive branch that the dove carried wasn't a big branch. The dove of a beak, the beak of a dove is what? Is tiny. It's a tiny little branch. But it let, it let Noah know that this thing is over. I mean, tonight I'm saying there's going to be so many things begin to disappear. It's going to shock you. Some of you are going to have to say, my God, I can't believe this, or I do believe this, but I don't want to say I don't believe it, but I do believe it. We had a guy get out of a wheelchair. He was in a wheelchair 20 years in Pittsburgh. Hadn't walked in 20 years. 
And I had to really, you know, the working of miracles, sometimes you have to work a little more. And when he got up and started walking, the whole way across the church in front of everybody, all these was, I don't believe this. I don't believe this. As he's walking, the first time in 20 years. So finally he had to say, would you shut up with I don't believe this? There's got to be a point where you begin to say, I believe, I believe, I believe. Whether you start hearing all of a sudden. We had a, a, there's a lady in uh, Sarasota, in our Sarasota meeting. There's a doctor, his name is Dr. Mulholland. And Dr. Mulholland has some of these patients of his, he's sending every month, he sends patients to this meet, to our meeting. He brought a lady, stage four cancer. Her T38 vertebrae had been completely been disintegrated. Okay, completely gone. No, no x-ray, there's no bone there, no fragments there. Brought her in stage four, she had weeks to live, if that. Well, the power of God hits her in that meeting. And all she could say to him, I didn't know this till later, all she could say to him is she said, I just, I just feel different. Now, there's no x-ray machines. We don't have any x-ray machines here tonight. And we have no blood doctors in the house to test your blood. So your faith is going to have to go to work. But your mind's going to have to go to work. Why should your symptom remove here? Why, why would it go away? Why would your arms be not painful? Why would your ears be clear? Why would your hernia disappear? Why would the lumps on your breast disappear? Anyhow, she goes back, she goes back to Dr. Mulholland. If you're ever in that Sarasota, you want to go to a good doctor. He, he, she goes back to the doctor and, and, and tells him, she said, I can't believe it. She said, he touched me and she said, this power went all through me. And all I know is, is that I just feel different. And sometimes I get this little bit of heat in there. Now, he went and did CAT scans, x-rays. Not only was the cancer gone, the whole vertebrae grew completely back. Come on. Come on. Oh, you better do a little better than that. And then in Pittsburgh, I'm praying for a lady. She comes up. She's yellow jaundice from cancer. Liver cancer, jaundice, if you know, I'm sure you know what that is. She comes up, and I was just touching people near the end of the meeting to make sure we got as many people in that we could get in. Well, I got to her, and I didn't get to touch her. She just goes under the power. So I went to go by here. I was walking right by her to get to the next person, and I just glanced at her, and I thought, well, am I that tired? Is my eyes playing tricks on me? She's turning white. And I said, so I looked at her, and, you know, sometimes you want to get confirmation, so I had a couple of the ushers come over. I said, what do you guys see there? And the usher said, oh, my God, she's turning white. She's turning white. Well, the camera's zoomed in on it, and she turned from yellow jaundice. Now, I don't, I don't know that lady personally, but I think when you get up and look in the mirror, I don't know if you need an x-ray or not. I don't think so. <laughs> if you want to, for courtesy's sake, there's got to be a point where you grab this thing, you know, where the first sign of anything changing in you tonight. And I never touched her. Never touched her in one, you know, da-da-da-da. And, and that's what's going to happen in this meeting tonight. But to do that, you have to be in touch with what you need to leave you tonight. Sometimes we come here, we get caught up in worship and the anointing and the preaching, and we forget that our hearing is terrible. You know, we have, you have three little bones on each ear that as you get older, those bones get fragile, and they do break. And a lot of hearing loss is because of these broken bones. And we've seen so many of those completely healed right in the meeting. And as a matter of fact, I was telling Pastor George, we were in Louisville here a couple weeks ago, and a lady flew in from Virginia in a wheelchair, could not walk, and she had Hashimoto's. She, she says, we were watching the service at Eagle Mountain. Remember the, uh, Joan Green here? I don't know if Joan's here tonight or not, but Joan was right over here with the Hashimoto and couldn't walk, had all the tremors. They flew this lady, and because of the seed that was planted out of this service right here, and she flew from Virginia to Louisville, Kentucky. And she's, I'm planning on something very similar to, Je to Joan. And the power hits this lady. She got healed. She's running all over the church. And she said, I'm leaving my wheelchair here. So, come on, give, give God a big, big shout. Listen to me. You, you, have, you, you have to really, you know, have to really lock in tonight and just believe that this is your night. 
But what I'm asking you to do is this. A little different than we want to do this. We're going to have microphones on each side. Someone will be over here. The moment you sense something changing, we'll, we'll move however God wants to move tonight. We'll pray for you. If the gifts move in the word of knowledge, we'll do that. But don't wait for that. The moment you reach in there, you should be checking all night long. See, that's the sign of faith because faith reaches. Faith is movement. Say that faith is movement. You know, and, and, and God is looking to give you a sign. And that sign is, well, that hernia is gone. Let me give you a little hint. That's time to get happy. <laughs> you don't need my permission or Pastor George's permission to run around the church and scream, it's gone, it's gone, thank God it's gone. We'll get the clue that something left. Come on, say amen. But we don't want to turn this into just lines of people waiting because your faith ebbs and flows. And I'm convinced that as these crowds grow and they're larger crowds, he's already touching you. He's just wanting you to acknowledge that. See, whatever you acknowledge grows. Whatever you acknowledge, he'll affirm. And one of the neatest miracles happened at Paul Brady's church just a while back. God was touching people, healing people. And this little boy, I shouldn't say little, he's probably 13 or 14. He's sitting in the audience. I need to borrow a pair of glasses. Rick, can I borrow your glasses? He's sitting in the audience, and as people were getting healed, he wore these red glasses, and I didn't know him, didn't know who he was connected to. So he had these glasses on, and as God's healing people, this little kid with no instruction is going like this while these people are being healed. He's going like this. <laughs> Testing to see if his eyes are any different. Now watch this. So he, so the whole time he, you know, he, he showed me later what he was doing. He was going like, yeah, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> just taking a peek. All of a sudden, he bumped his mother, and his mother said, "Shh, don't you, don't pay attention. Shh, shh." He said, "Mom, I can see the same without the glasses as I can with the glasses." <laughs> Somebody better praise him. He, without any help from anybody, was doing exactly what you need to do tonight. No one's going no one's gonna to be concerned about you reaching back here to see or in here to see or if you have to go to the restroom to see. Your faith is believing that something's taking place. That's what makes all of this work is you believing that in a moment of time, everything is going to change. How many believe that? Amen. Come on, put your hands up one more time and say tonight. tonight. Somewhere in the course of this service. In course of this intervention, intervention is going to take place. And something's going to, something's going to disappear. I'm going to get my strength back. My, strength back. my memory back. My, memory. my get up and go back. My, back. my, bravery, back. my bravery back. My hunger for the word of God. Word. I'm going to get it back. Get it back. I will pursue. I will overcome all, and tonight is my defining moment. Devil, your kingdom's coming down. Somebody give God a big shout. Come on. My God. But what, what this whole weekend is about is just about these meetings. This morning at, I believe it was 10 o'clock, Pastor George was in here teaching. And if you would have heard, the, I watched it from my hotel, you should have seen or heard that teaching about the name. You can never get enough. And one thing I like about Kenneth, that he, I love when he says, now let's set our eyes on the Word of God. Because a lot of times we know verses, we know the Bible, we know it well, many of us, but we haven't set our eyes on something afresh. There's something about what you know with your mind and your memory your spirit, there's something about that natural look, those natural ears, because every day we hear junk. Every day this culture bathes us in conflict and controversy. Come on, it's all over everywhere. That's why it's called social media and not spiritual media. Come on, say amen. <laughs> Is that right? So, so this morning was, but tomorrow morning I was talking to Pastor Terry, and she tells, she wouldn't give me all the in and outs of what she's teaching on tomorrow morning, but you take a break. Take a healing day tomorrow. Amen. You know, just take, what, tomorrow's Saturday? 
Most of you are off. Some of you may work, but just take a healing day. Just say, I'm going to make this whole day about healing. Consecrate it. From the time the sun comes up, get out here in the morning, get the teaching, do whatever God has you do in the afternoon. Put some value on it. Let God see that you're putting forth the same effort that took to rip off the roof of the neighbor or to climb the tree like Zacchaeus or to jump in the shadow like they did of Peter. Oftentimes, more effort is required. Not more works, more effort to get to that hymn. Come on, thinking, saying, getting in where the anointing is. You know, and that, I believe that these uh, miracles on the mountain, this is number three, by the way. Can you hardly believe three miracles on the mountain? How many have been to Miracle on the Mountain before? Let me see. How many have been to one of them? Two of them. How many is here for the third time? How many have come to Miracles on the Mountain? Four, five, and six. How about seven, eight, and nine? Oh, come on, 10, 11, and 12. The moment you sense the change, I want you out of your seat. I don't care how little of a change it is. When that rhythm is broke, that's when you have to act. If you can handle that on your, but when you go public with that broken rhythm, that's where the anointing just sweeps in to begin to finish. Don't ever think something's too small or too little or too insignificant because it shouldn't be able, it should not be able to break like that. And you know, if you're here with macular degeneration of the eyes and your eyes are turning into pinholes and you can't see like, and all of a sudden you can see, that's something to shout about. But I, I, just wouldn't, I, I just wouldn't be quiet about it and sneak out of here like the woman with the issue. She tried to get a touch and get home. Come on. And he said, hey, if you're going to take it, I want you to come back and take all of it. And he, and he did a number on, called her by, you know, daughter, meaning she had an orphan heart. Go in peace, meaning she had no peace. He said, be made whole of the plague. Meaning what? This will never happen. This will never reoccur again. Somebody better give God a shout right now. Come on. Come on. Give God a big, big shout in this place. No, I mean a really big Holy Ghost. So like that little boy over at the, at the, at the Millennial Church in Tulsa, be thinking about why you're here, what you're after. And be ashamed of nothing. Be ashamed of nothing. When I had cancer, dying with cancer, a long, long time ago, and taken into the Catherine Kuhlman meeting, boy, I, I didn't like the way I looked. I didn't want to go public. I didn't want to die. So I'm in a mess, right? I didn't want anyone to know. And wouldn't it be great if God just did everything in private? Wouldn't it be cool if he delivered you of all the demons in private? Come on, say amen. amen. Renewed your mind in private. He did all your inner healing in private, took all care of all your stuff. He chose the public place for a lot of things. He chose the synagogue, the marketplace, the houses of many times. Sometimes he would be private. But for a lot of those meetings, he wanted to do something public. Why? He wants the glory to be seen. And so it's not just your healing. You get healed, it belongs to the kingdom. You got something to talk about. You got a conversation piece. You got something to, man, to, to, to help everybody and anybody. You have an anointing on your story. The word you have to learn, but the story you own. Come on, say, no one can refute my story. That's one of the most powerful. We overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. So tonight, let's believe that you sitting here tonight that there's going to be some amazing testimonies happen right now. And I want to hear about it. I want to hear the moment that pain is gone, like I said, some of these symptoms that you're facing. Because one day of doubt turned into 40 years of wondering. I'm going to say that again. Say one day, one day of doubt, of doubt and unbelief, unbelief turned into 40 years. What will one night of faith do for you? Oh, you better give him a shout right now. Come on. What? Away. <laughs> I, I feel it inside, but it's going away. What is what, ma'am? What? It, it's um, 
they, eczema? <laughs> yes, it started. They said eczema, and then they called it psoriasis, and then my legs started. But it's... It's leaving it's, there, too. Yeah. It's going It's away. leaving her whole body right here. The fire of the Holy Ghost. COPD right now. If you hear a COPD, come quickly. COPD, quickly. Hurry, hurry. COPD. He's healing Lyme's disease, quickly. There's a Crohn's disease being healed as well. Crohn's and Lyme's, quickly. COPD, quickly, man. How long you had this? Oh, I don't know. Ten years or so. I don't know. But I got to where I came in with the oxygen thing, and I'm you, not doing it now. You I'm hollering even. <laughs> you came in with oxygen? Yes, sir. Now it comes and goes, but I'm feeling myself breathing deeper than I'm. You're breathing deeper, right? Yes. Pastor George was teaching on that today. And run, quickly respond. Don't be like Lot where you're lingering and you got to have angels come to pull you out. Run quickly to this. Amazing. Ma'am, how are you breathing right this moment? It's, I want more, I want more, I want more. I want to get better. I'm not quite there. I'm not come quite on, get where her up, I want get to her, be. Get her up. I'm not quite where I want to be. Where are you from, sweetheart? Where Colorado, are you? Colorado City, Texas. Uh huh. And, and where do you go to church? Christian Fellowship. Is your pastor? He he sent you here. And knows you're no, here. No, he knows I'm here, but he didn't send me. I watch you guys. I watch you on TV. I watch all these guys on TV every Sunday night. <laughs> yes. Oxygen free. Oxygen free. <laughs> I'm still getting out of air. Well, I would I get out of air too if I just did that. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. Amen. I am, and I'm going to keep it. You have See received. Else, you know? you have received. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. I, I know. I want that healed and my hip. Mm -hmm. They were fixing to do surgery in my hip, and they're not. Okay. Well, slow down. Slow down. Okay. Just <laughs> slow down. You're in a very defensive mood tonight, so just slow down. Sorry. It's okay to do that. I understand you shield off the darts, but there's points where you got to take time and just receive. You can be so defensive, you block out the healing as well. Because you're doing warfare all the time. I, 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 I block that, I block that, and you come in here and I pray for you, you block me too. Come on. <laughs> I mean that. You gotta, this is a night to receive. 
I had a lady in Miami. She fell into the power. She was on the floor and just doing all this and all this and all this. And I just walked by. I said, ma'am, calm down. Calm down. Holy Spirit, if you're really under the power, it's one of the greatest places you can be. If you're under your power, nothing. But if you're under the Holy Spirit power, I said, man, just say, I receive. Come on, I receive. And she put her hands up and she said, I receive. And then she screamed. She looked, she says, my God, that works. <laughs> I said, well, yeah, yeah. See, it's all about him. It's all about what he promised. If you make it about you, it ain't going to work. It won't work. It's you trying to get more for, you know, you got to get it. Make sure you're going through the right source. Mm-hmm. And that comes from, I, I yield. I yield. And as we're moving up here around this altar, you need to be whispering. Whether you're practicing in the gifts by seeing what word I may call out. And pra- you pra- that's, how I, that's how I practiced in the gifts. In the early days of the ministry with Miss Coleman, I pra- before she called out a word, I'd be thinking, hey, you know, migraines. Or I was just trying to get, get a hold of the Holy Spirit, not her. And then that would come out of her mouth. I'd go, ah, it was like bingo, I got it. Come on, somebody. <laughs> and that's how I began to grow in the gifts from a distance. You want to hear his voice. You know, and, and if you hear his voice, you know, for you, then you got to hear his, his voice for him, like offering time. You can't, it just can't be one way where I want to hear God for me. You've got to hear God for you and for others that he wants you to help. Oh, Lord, if I, you heal me tonight, I'll tell you, I'm going to really help out the family. I'm going to really give my time at the church that I go to. Cut a deal with him. He makes deals. He's covenant. <laughs> Come on, say, he's a deal maker. He really, really is. What's going on here? What's going on here? Well, I have COPD, uh-huh. Fasima. Huh? Um, COPD and emphysema. Is this, you, you're with her? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. And um, I just need a whole body makeover. Are you, are you, are you having trouble walking? Um, yes. Why, why do you have trouble walking? Well, um, I might, yeah, probably. Um, Ma'am, I'm going to touch you. The power's going to go through your whole body. <laughs> oh, my God. You'll be running through the troop, leaping over the wall. Well, that's why I said I need a whole body makeover. I mean, for my heart, my lungs, Uh, (laughs) my back. Are you ready for it? Yes. Are you sure, ma'am? Yes. Are you ready to get rid of this? Yes. Power! Come on, somebody give God a shout! Come on, get her up, get her up. Just go, just walk. Just walk. Just walk. Just walk, go ahead, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. Somebody is going to shout. Ma'am, ma'am, hey, ma'am, look at me. Walk back. I want you to pull, pull, work, work on. Just put your legs up. You're walking with your body. Just, no, you, I want you to walk with your legs. Shh. Slow down. Just walk like a soldier. March like a soldier. Just march. Pick them up. There you go. Take small steps. Look at that. Look at that. Look at you. Amazing. Touch her completely. Touch her completely. Come on, give God a big shout. All through her. Cataracts are leaving. Rub your eyes. You're going to find out cataracts are leaving all over this room tonight. Cataracts are leaving. The moment they're gone, the moment they're gone, you see that they're gone. Come up here and see me quickly. The moment they're gone. Are they gone, ma'am? Ma'am, are they gone? They're gone? They're what? I can see slightly. You can see slightly. Was you blind or what? No. Is the cataract gone? No. Is the moment they're, is it gone, ma'am? Ma'am, is it gone? Not, but it's leaving. It's better. Come quickly. It's better. It's gone? It's completely gone. Are you sure, ma'am? I'm sure. How long have you had this? Uh, probably five years. Five years gone. They, they want to do Pow. Oh. Oh. Come on, give God a shout. Come, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I Come, Holy Spirit. Come, sweet Spirit. I pray. Come in my strength. Come in my strength and my power. Come in thy own special way. Come in thy own special way. And one more time. 
Focus on you. Come in the sweetness. Your breathing is going to clear up tonight. Come in thine own special way. He's all over your body, man. He's all over. And come, Holy Spirit, I need thee. What's going on here, man? Migraines. How long? 2005. I pray. Come in thy strength. Come in thy strength and thy power. Come in thy own special way. Come in thy own special way. L4 and L5 is you're being healed now. L4, L5. Right now, in your back, right now. Someone also with surgery had rods put in your back. He's actually removing those rods from your back. Where are you? You have rods in your back. Quickly. Come to me, lady. Hurry. Hurry. My God. How long, ma'am, how long ago did you have these? How long ago, ma'am? Two years ago? And you had rods put in? And how's your back? Huh? Two years. Two years ago, I had surgery. Uh huh. And they three, four, five, cemented together. Uh huh. And two years, no pain. Uh -huh. I've been pain for all my life. Uh huh. And February the seventeenth, something shifted. I started having pain again. Mm -hmm. And uh, the doctor mm -hmm. told me I was going to have to have surgery. Uh huh. Well, he wouldn't find anything. That'd and be I embarrassing for that doctor. My husband told me, yeah. we're going to Billy Burke's oh. healing service. Oh, okay. And you're not going to have to have that oh, surgery. Oh, I love your husband. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I know. I came to receive. I was believing. Well, where's your pain right now? Um, <laughs> I, can, I can actually move without pain. Somebody move. Is that amazing? That is amazing. But I believe I was receiving. I came expecting. You got it. And I got it. And the bump. <laughs> and, and the bonus, he's dissolving. Oh. Oh, well, she's going. F they may fall forwards, guys. Are you trained to catch people to go forward? <laughs> she went backwards. <laughs> Pastor, we had a service where everybody fell forwards. Every, and nobody was trained for it. And so after the service, the pastor came up and he says, Billy, can I talk to you? I said, yeah, what's up? He said, is this the new move? I said, what's the new move? He said, they all fell forward. Our ushers weren't trained for that. I said, well, that's the first time I've ever seen it too. I said, but you better retrain your ushers. Looks like something is happening around here. Listen to me. He knows when we need something new. Let him move through you tonight like a flute. Yes. Let him just blow through you. He'll, he'll clean the plaque out of your arteries. You'll never have high blood pressure the rest of your life. You won't have to eat raw carrots the rest of your life. Come on. <laughs> Listen to me. Uh, that, I mean, those things are good for you, but don't you want some supernatural in your life? Because why the atheists, they eat well. And all of the people that are, that are anti-God, enemies of the cross, they practice nutrition. I practice nutrition. We all need to practice that. But let's not forget that connection that Jesus went to hell and back to give us. Come on, when he took those keys. I mean, when he took those stripes, he gave us a connection don't forsake the supernatural and become an all-natural believer. Oh, I'm talking to a couple of people. Use the name like they heard this morning. Use the blood. Use the word. 
I mean, operate, use it, use it, use it. Activate it. It's not how much word you know, it's how much you're operating it. A lot of people have a boat, but it's in their backyard on cinder blocks. Come on, say amen. amen. It don't float. <laughs> practice this, practice this. How you doing, sir? You doing good? Sir, what's going on with you? I've got bleeding in this eye, behind this eye, uh -huh. and I've got that aged uh, macular in this eye. Macular. This is wet, this is macular, it's wet, and this is dry. Wow, you got a wet and a dry. The wet's bleeding behind it, and I can't see the other side. You can't see at all? Yeah, I can see. Okay, you can. You're, I, I, I don't know who you are. Okay. I can see you now. Okay, out of this eye. Yes. But this eye you can't. Uh -uh. That's about to change. And I got that, I got COPD. And you got COPD. I can't breathe. You can't breathe. Yeah, that's real hard on me. I stay up all night long sitting up to sleep. Do you? Yes. Are you married? Yes. Oh, bet your wife don't like that sleep. Well, I've been married 48 years. She ain't gonna say that. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. There are parts of this service that are difficult, I tell you. <laughs> Why did Jesus ask questions? How long has your boy been like this, he said. Because Jesus was looking for more information to get accurate discernment. He wanted to be accurate, so he's asking questions. Where have you laid him? You know, he, 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 he operated under the anointing, but he, he, there's nothing wrong with asking questions as long as you know where that line is. You don't want to get too rude or into people's private areas. But listen to me. You've got to be willing tonight to just let go. There's a lady here. You were, when you were younger, I don't know how they, where you got this discipline, but they, 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 they put you under a, under a case of stairs to punish you. You were punished in a very brutal way. You were locked under some stairs. Is that you, ma'am? Yes. Come to me quickly. Hurry up quickly. Give her a big God bless you. Come on. I'm coming, sir. I'm coming back at you. Ma'am, how long ago was this? I was an infant and they threw me and my three sisters under the stairs and locked us in there all day because we didn't do something right. No food, no water, no changing of diapers. And so here we are, how many, how old are you? Can you 54. Here we are 54 years later. Wait a minute, 54 years later, she's in a meeting and God brings this up. The only reason God will ever go back into your past is to remove anything that would hinder you going forward. Okay? This has bothered you. Yes. Tormented you. Yes, it has. Made me feel like I was trash and unwanted. And a problem for everybody. I got that when I was two. So how many times did they lock you under the stairs? You know? Every day. Every day? Every day because we had to be out of the way. My biological grandmother was a prostitute, and she had to make sure nobody saw us. Listen to me. If, if nothing else tonight for you, that God would bring this up 50-some years later to heal you, makes up for all the rejection and all of the abuse, that power. Somebody give God a shout.
two, three, four, five. Somebody did a shit! You did it! You felt the power! Huh? What? You felt the Holy Ghost there. I got the Holy Ghost, baby. Like you felt that when you went Oh, man, you shocked me. Like electricity got me. I don't know what you've done. Well, you didn't do it, God. I know God did it. Yeah. But what you got on that touch was more than a healing. What did they get? A drive, an impartation, a deposit is the word I'm looking for. A deposit to make a U-turn tonight. Things are going to begin to break for you. Thank you. This hardship is over. Okay. Do you hear me? I hear you. You're going to land soft. There's a soft landing coming your way. Okay. It begins tonight. Now, watch this. Just what we were saying earlier. How does he not leave here and run with this? This miracle is in motion. Far from finished. This, this can be perfected. But this will jump onto your family. Jump onto your money. Jump onto your children. It'll jump onto your joy level. You'll go to work happy on Monday. What happened to you? I got a miracle! You know... I mean, you, you can't get this without some kind of, what's, what's going on? What are you looking for? My wrist. Something's down in my wrist. What? It's that metal or something in it. Huh? It's something burning in my wrist. It's burning? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> it's all good. It's all metal in there. It's what? It's all metal. You had metal put in there? Yeah, it's all it's metal. It's disappearing. Good. That's what I want. Somebody give him a praise. Oh, my God. Why, why was the metal in there? I shattered all you, these bones. Yeah. I, I feel. And you shattered the bones. They put metal in. Yeah, they, it crushed them all. It's, it's all dissolving. We're seeing things dissolve tonight. Those rods are dissolved. If she went back for x-rays, they're not there. His medal's not there. That's perfect. That's not a healing. That's a sign and a wonder. My back's burning now. Your back's burning. Yeah. I had surgery there too. He had surgery there too with metal. Somebody tell your neighbor it's dangerous in here. Come on. Your name. Just run, go, run, run, run. Your name! Come on! Your name! He's coming back. you shock me again? I'm sorry, I can't hear what he's saying. What? Why don't you shock me again? Shock you again? Yeah, you sent electricity all the way through my head. My head's burning. Your head's burning? Yeah. My ear's burning. His ears are burning. <laughs> we got a hot man of God up here. This mighty bomb of the ghost. Come on, you got it, John. Look at this. Get the camera on him right here. See, this This is a manifestation of being set free. You don't always have to get set free from demons, okay, and spirits. You get set free from pain. You get set, set free from addictions. You get set free from people. Hallelujah. <laughs> you get set free from places. There's places you shouldn't be going to anymore. Every time you go in there, Jesus healed somebody and was at Bethesda, the blind man. Then he said, don't go back there. He knew if he went back there among those people, they would get up that transfer again. 
and lose their healing. You can't be careless with your miracle. You can't just think it's, you know, I mean, it's not fragile, but God don't want you to walk right back into a situation that's going to cause a reoccurrence. He wants to do a new thing in you. Right? This is amazing right here. I, I don't mean to take a lot of time, but this guy really is pressing in for the, the whole pond of rose here. Pick him up. Pick him up. Amazing. It's getting better. Everything's getting better. I'm just tingling, burning. My head is tingling all over. And by the way, this ear was messed up. It's not. You can hear. we can celebrate and that's what goes a long way in you receiving but your eyes aren't lying and none of these people are under the witness protection program (laughs) meaning that you can go access these people and they go out and say are you really I encourage people to do that because the miracles are real I don't want anything not real I'm not into this falling for nothing stuff I believe in the real power. I believe in the real uh, uh, touch of the Holy Spirit. I believe in that. I believe the word works. When you stand on it, when you sit in it, when you digest it, when you speak it, it really does set heaven in motion. It sets spiritual laws that breaks curses and diseases and breaks up disorder, sets you on a new path. But you got to get busy. And especially like this guy right here. Uh, Right now he's trying to figure out what state he's in. (laughs) But when you when you really get and you get uh, walk out these doors, make a resolution, man. uh, Starting tonight by the grace of God, man, my habits are changing tomorrow. Don't wait. Don't give the devil a reprieve. Knock him out. Crush him. It says in Genesis, what he nips at us, but we crush his head. Come on, Sam, crushing him tonight. Oh, my God. What's going on with your hand? It's burning. It's it's turning red. It wasn't like that before. Uh -uh. It's all right. It's all right. It's just healing.
if you're in line already and somebody you're already touched over here let me know are you already healed anybody over here already healed right here already healed what happened ma'am what happened well this is my fourth time to be here but you wouldn't ever call out my disease okay so i just said lord lord give me something you said if i felt anything that yes. could come yes. i was burning in my feet in your feet yes so i have trouble with my eyes what's wrong well type 2 diabetes has caused problems in my eyes yeah bleeding behind the eyes yeah and the lenses are damaged and I've what you rehearse will be your reality right. what you rehearse we're all in the same room tonight but we all have different realities we rehearse different things that's why you have choir rehearsal why so all these people learn the rhythm and the same song and on cue on time what you rehearse becomes the reality in the, in the performance so if you're not rehearsing the right things then the healing isn't valuable to you you'll take it if it comes freely and easily but you don't want to rehearse and then you won't you won't learn the steps of faith you won't learn how to get draw closer to him God, the, the reason this team here of Kenneth and Pastor George, Pastor Terry, Gloria, the, the, their dream, and I agree so much with their dream and their, their whole approach, is not that you just get healed, but you get a deposit of God. That you leave here with a healing and a desire to work the word and a desire to be a worshiper. Come on, that you weren't a tither before you came, but man, now you're going to be. And where did that all come from? It comes from a deposit that goes inside of you that you didn't have, that gives you desires that you don't have before you came. Where did that desire come from? Where did that thinking come from? You signed up for more than a healing by walking into this room. I'll tell you that right now. There's a lot of... Because if you never sowed or gave an offering before, after seeing these miracles, why would you not? Amen. How, could you, how could you hold back a seed of a place that's allowing this stuff to perpetuate? Yes. You know? I mean, you really, we've got to support this kind of thing. When I stood in front of Catherine Coleman, I was nine years old. My grandmother, my mother, nobody had ever given her a dime. We never get, we didn't know her at that time. We didn't know her. Later we did, but then we didn't. And here I am standing and, and not having given anything to her or that ministry. And this came to me just a few months ago. And the Holy Spirit said to me, well, somebody had to support her to be there for you. I never thought of that. Somebody had to put money in her, you know, her get up and go ministry to, to be there to help me. You never know. I mean, this place, this place is about to break loose. People are marching on their way to be here. There'll be a day here and really, really soon you won't be able to get in the building. Do you hear me? There's going to have to be a bigger facility to take care of the people. You, you saw the people coming to the Mexican border, Tijuana, build the wall. That's nothing compared to who's coming here. Come on, say amen. Come on, say they're on the move. And they're headed here. They are. And this young lady, you had the word from Lyme's disease. Yes. How long have you had this? 2005. 2005. Mm -hmm. And you're suffering with it now? I am. And, and the symptom is pain and... Uh, joint pain and I... And you have that right now? Migraines. I do have you some. Sure? I hurt. Are you sure? No, sir. You're not sure? I'm not sure. <laughs> Well, then you better check. <laughs> I have a little bit. It's just about all gone. Just about all gone. <laughs> now, watch this. That rhythm is broke. The, the worst thing for her is just to say, wow, it's just about all gone. No, that's right there where you get an attitude. Amen. Right there's the attitude intersection. See, attitude intersection. She came up, it's just about all gone. Then she says, devil, you're a liar. I got a hold of this, thank you. I'm going to take this the rest of the way. And for the next three, four, five days, she's all over it. 
Assume your end of the responsibility. Never, never just turn your soul over to everybody for full-time management. He's given you to work the works of faith. Is that right? Amazing. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. That you came in and you feel as good as you do. Amazing. Where are you from? Fort Worth. This is your home church? No, sir. Where do you go to church? Christ Chapel. Christ Chapel. Yes, sir. Put your hands up. Master, finish this work you started in her tonight. We give you such praise. Oh, this. Oh, wow. Yes, ma'am. What's quickly? What's going on here? I was diagnosed with cancer. What kind of 2015 cancer? 2015 brain. And brain now cancer. it's dead uh -huh. and dry. Uh -huh. And now they found something else last week. They uh -huh. said it's on my L4 and L5. Okay. And it's a growth that's growing on L4 and L5. Is it your back hurt? My spinal cord, yes. Where's it hurt at? From my neck on down. It's hurting right now? Yes. In front of me, you're telling me this hurts. It's got electric static going all the way down. You have electric now. <laughs> you know, you don't have to tell me to get excited. You're allowed to get excited all on your own. You, you, you are allowed to get excited. We give you permission to give a Yahoo to all. See, if they, if, uh, oh, I gotta be careful with that. That's, it's really, he's really here. Yes. And if I was you, I wouldn't get all caught up in looking up here. I'd be checking myself. There's a hernia leaving a man right now. I believe it's on your right leg. There's a hernia leaving a man right now. Just keep looking ahead and check. No one will know anything that's going on there. Just, where are you? It's leaving your, I believe it's your right leg. Where are you? Where are you? Quickly. Come on, sir. Hurry up. Come on. Give God a shout, people. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Well, are you excited about this or what? Amazing. It is, it is no secret what God what he's done thank you Patrick he'll do come on arms wide open he'll pardon you it is no secret it is no secret what God What's this? Okay. Yes, sir. What happened here? Well, I think I've got a hernia there, but <clears throat> you call for a hernia in the ride, and then it's gone. Well, I don't, it's still. I can still feel it, but you feel it now? <laughs> well, a little. I don't want to lie, you know. I don't want to, you know. But I had one. I mean. That power of the Holy Ghost on this man. Somebody give God a shout. Come on, somebody. Oh. 
One touch. One day of unbelief turned into 40 years. One night can change the rest of your life. Who's this? Oh, this is the dad. The, I'm not, your daddy didn't get hurt. He's okay. He's okay. What's your name? Hannah. Who? Hannah. Hannah. That's a good name, Hannah. Your daddy's getting healed. Amen. You know when you're under the power of the Holy Spirit. You know when you're under the power of, of yourself. You know the difference. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> this lady here, ma'am, ma'am, what's going on here? I have no more pain. Yes. On television. Detroit, Michigan. Injured leg for over a year and a half, and they're running around in their living oh. room. No pain. Come on, somebody. Saint, it gets better. St. Louis, Missouri. Lady had a lump on her neck on the left side. Gone. You know, I don't know. We have to have, we have to have big time celebrators. What? What? It is no secret what God. Just the ladies, come on. It is no Beautiful. Clear? It's still not, it's still okay. not all there. Okay. We'll believe for it. Yeah. The devil tried to tell me I could pick one thing. Yeah. But he's a liar. He is a liar. Jesus said I can't have it Amen. all. Amen. It is no secret. Go, just go, just go, just go. What God? That's amazing. Yeah. Again, I'm going to go like the woman with the issue of blood and yeah. just even touch you. And I felt something when you just walked on by and I rubbed up against oh. your shoulder. So about this electric going down your spinal column. It went all the way, all way down, down my now, feet. Now, here's my point. Here's my point. Just a minute, Patrick. Here's my point with this. If we're here just to get that and, and we don't take that serious, you can't do that for yourself and I can't do that. I can't do that. Now, pay attention, please, people. If we get so serious about symptoms that take us into more disease and we move into fear that's what symptoms do they move you to fear they bring restriction okay if you're incontinence you can't go nowhere unless you're near a bathroom they change your life so if that if we're so serious about those symptoms that take us you know down the wrong path to fear why don't we get equally I mean this lady came in with a death sentence she felt electricity go the whole way down her spine. Now, I haven't felt that recently. Maybe some of you have. I've not felt electricity going down my spinal column. Sounds like a good idea to me. It sounds like a pretty refreshing thing. If, if you take it serious. You know, we, we are healed by faith either way. But when God begins to manifest... You jump on it. You jump on it. Katie, isn't that a Texas term? Katie, bar the door. Come on. You jump on it. Is that right? I think it's Texas, right? Everything's Texas, right? That's what I thought. It's amazing. And where are you from, sweetheart? I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque, New Mexico. 
And how did you hear about the meetings, the revival I meetings? I watch BV. B-V-O-V-N. B-V-O-V-N. Every day. You're a faithful partner. Yes, I'm a partner. To and now you're, now you're getting a faithful <laughs> healing. I'm also here for my church. Huh? I'm also here for my church. You're here for your church. My pastor. Your pastors need Danny a touch. Danny Roden is my pastor. And they need a touch. They need revival and in the church. in rehab. He you go back healed, revival will yes, break out. Yes, I am going back You healed. shout it. Oh, yes. You go shout and Jesus. say. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Come on. Gone. Can't find it. Sure. Feel something, I believe, though. I'm not going to doubt. What, are you here for her, too? Yes, sir. She was diagnosed with uh, leukemia last year. Uh huh. Okay. So, how is she being treated? Yeah, they have. Uh, they give them chemo and then they have a like two years of maintenance. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, <clears throat> they say that, um, well, they say that they, uh, in the first like 30 days of treatment, they. Sir, they, they, sir, excuse me. This is over. Amen. Like, it's <laughs> over. It's over. That's part of the Holy Ghost. We give you no praise. It's over. Somebody shout, it's over. It's over. Come on, give him the mighty praise. Come on, give him the praise. Look at that power of the Holy Ghost on this man. Yes. Yes, quickly. What is this? I was diagnosed diagnosed to have brain surgery because I have a nerve that is that is twitching uh-huh. and they said they, they had to go and, and into my skull to right. fix that nerve but when you said cancel surgeries I'm going to cancel that surgery in June yeah. because I am healed in the name of Jesus it, it stopped yes it's, it's it, I, I'm not everything just stopped yeah. come on give God a shout wow hey look at me dad she's all right Leave him go. He can't get up. Leave him go. Leave him go. Why do you try to get up when you can't? Why do you do that? You sleep in for a work, but you want to get up on God. Come on, somebody. Help me with this program. What's going on, big guy? You said if I felt something to come up here. Come on up. And you yeah. said L4, L5. Yeah. And I didn't come up here, and I just sat there, and uh, I just started feeling better and better and better. Look, I can tell you. Tell you. <laughs> I had two back surgeries. Let's see. In May. Two back surgeries. You had what? Two back surgeries in May. Here two here. back surgeries in May. There's the scars. Yes. And uh, last February I came here and I came up here. You said L4 and L5. And I told God if I could have a spiritual healing or physical, I would choose the physical. I mean the spiritual. Yeah. And I came up here. I said L4 and L5. And you didn't even, you were like the Holy Spirit's on you. You know why? Because God's been chasing you and he has. And he said, you said he's going to catch you tonight. And you reached up and you touched me. I've been, I've rededicated my life since then. I've been baptized. Somebody I, I even on baptized, I even baptized my friend. Come on! And now Come my back. Thank you, sir. Amazing, amazing. Give this man the Holy Ghost by the power of Holy. Come on, give him a shout. Yes, ma'am. What? This is my day. Your day. Yes. Yes. New lumbar four and five. Yeah. And every fatty tumor has to die. Every what? Fatty tumor has to die. Where's your tumors at? Where's your tumors at? Thighs and arm, and I've been checking my tumors, but I have the Holy Spirit all over me. I know it. I can feel it. And how can I serve God and lay hands on others if I'm not a walking testimony myself? Well, you can do that. You can still do that while you're going through stuff. Don't limit the Holy Spirit. Don't limit him. None of us are perfect. Mm-mm. You know, we're, we're being made more mature, but we have issues. The spirit moves through you. It's him, not you. Hello. We have this treasure in this earthen vessel that the excellency of the power may be of him and not ourselves. Oh, my lady, the power's all over you. I need it from the top of my head. To you're getting it, man. If you would just keep quiet for a moment, you're getting it. <laughs> you got it. as polished as these other guys around here. I'm, pow! Come on, somebody give God.
God a shout. <laughs> Somebody give God a shout. Come on. My God. The man in here. Come on, get up here. You. What's going on here? How can I be here in the machine? In the machine. Oh, Rabbi. Oh, Rabbi. Oh, I'm staying over here. Oh my, how we, yes ma'am. L4, L5, uh -huh. I'm believing healed. Uh, I've been in four car accidents, none of them been my fault. If somebody would swallow, the nodules that were in your throat are gone. There's nodules. These, these are a precursor to cancer. It's not cancerous per se, but these are nodules. That, who is this? Quickly, come to me. Quickly, hurry with these nodules. You sw Where, 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 where? Hurry. What? What? Okay, I was diagnosed with cancer, but when they did my biopsy, they said my throat was just full of these. Are they? Where's the death? <laughs> no, they're gone. Where are they at? <laughs> Oh my God, Annette, by his stripes, we are healed. Oh. My cancer, oh, I just feel so light. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't feel electric. <laughs> I feel like I could float. My husband was diagnosed, I was diagnosed. Right before Christmas. This is just unreal. Catch your guy. I believe. Huh? I believe. The power's it's not on unreal. this woman it right here. here. I take it. Power's on this woman right here, I tell you, lady. <sighs> Thank you, God. Praise God. Praise God. No nodules. No nodules. They're gone. I know they, they said I was going to have to have my throat stripped because I had all these things and I wasn't hearing and and now well my ears a little plugged but I'll take it <laughs> your ears are plugged yeah my ear is why? no you know what I I, I don't want to I don't want my ear to be plugged anymore you're what <laughs> you're what I want to be able to hear you can Just hear as well yeah it opened up yeah it's it actually did <laughs> I was in a car accident 30 years ago, and I have a, I had a broken acetabulum. Uh -huh. They put in a, a plate mm -hmm. and eight screws, 
and eight screws, eight screws and, a plate. and a plate. And then this is a night when these metals seem to be disappearing. And 30 years later, That's right. um, 30 years later, mm -hmm. arthritis in this joint. Uh -huh. And so I can't walk. It just hurts really they bad. To they want to do hip replacement. So you're hurting there? Yes. Right now? Yes. You're sure? Yes. And I told him. That you're positive. You're I hurting. said, God's going to heal me. You're positive you're hurting. Yes, it's still hurting. It is? The muscle. The what? The muscle is hurting. Huh? Mm -hmm. I can't stand down on it. What do you mean you can't? On my leg. Well, just try. I can't put my weight well, on Well, just there. try with me here. Just try with me here. Okay. What are you doing? Okay, I'm standing. You're standing. Mm -hmm. You're right on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you lie in church or what do you do here? No, no. <laughs> he just touched you. You're standing with all of your weight on that leg. Not all of it. Well, put, put your weight on it. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Look here. Look up. Don't look down. Look up. Just look up. Stand on your legs. Just stand like normal. Like I'm, you're standing at a dress shop. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. Hands up in here. Come on, sweetheart. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hands up. Come on. Okay. Look at that. I think because it's shorter. The, you think what? The leg is short. Well, then we have to grow it. Yeah. We need it to grow. Mm. When I count to three, I want you to stand as tall as you can. Okay. Your bones are going to move. Bones are meant to move. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel said they move. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I count to three, you stand up straight to attention, all right? Mm -hmm. You reach your hands like you're going to reach for the sky. Come on, you ready? Okay. Get that mic out of the way, Rick. Ready? One, two, three. Reach. Stretch. Come on, I want you to stretch. You're doing great. You're doing really good. What's your wife's name? Kathy. Kathy, walk to me. Take a step. Come on, Kathy. Take a step. Take a couple of steps. How's that feel? That's not hurting. It still hurts some. It hurts some. Yeah. Put your hands up. I'm going to touch you again. Power's going to go through you. This bone's <laughs> going to begin to move. You're going to get straightened out here, girl. Thank you. Yes, yes. You're going to get straightened Oh. <laughs> What happened here? Yes. She, she, my mother-in-law, she flew from Tanzania. She had a surgery five years ago. She could not be able to walk. Even we came here with a wheelchair. Within probably 10, 15 minutes ago, she started walking back and forth. And, and then if you remember, my mother, she came here. Go ahead. Well, let the people see it. Push the chair. Go. She couldn't walk when she came here. To her, she she flew from Tanzania. Who, you, who, is that, who is that? She's my mother-in-law. You who? My mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. Uh, yeah, my mother. She was here two years okay, ago. Okay, and she couldn't walk. She had to ride the chair. Yeah, she could not walk. She had five uh, five years ago. She had back surgery. She could not be able to walk. And now she's walking. Now she walks about like two more minutes. And she uh, just got up out of that chair. Yeah, and then she just just started walking back and forth, and then she, she told me she want to come up here. So I said, Your name is... There she goes! Oh my God! Jesus! Oh my! Before you.
this building tonight is my prayer. I, you know, I don't know what else to do. This is what I've been called to do. I didn't choose it. I was called to it. But I can surely tell you, you can go to hell healed. I can tell you that. So before you leave this room tonight, God is giving evidence all over this place to make a quality decision tonight, to come back to him, to come to him, to get, to get out of some belief system that isn't working. It's dead in the water, a form of godliness, but no power. That's what Paul said, a form of godliness, but no power. He's showing this display tonight. I can't do this, but he's showing you this to draw you in, to love you. You know, I mean, this, we're not going from Obamacare to Trump care. We're going right to Calvary care. Come on. <laughs> Calvary care. I mean, I'm, I support our president big time. I know as you all do, but, but when it comes to getting our needs met and the security of where our faith is, especially this, if with the new health care stuff coming up, this is right here. She's, how, where'd you fly from, did you say? from Tanzania. Tanzania. Yeah. That is not a hop, skip, and a jump, I'll tell you. Yeah. How many hours did that take? Uh, 16 hours. How long? 16. Mm -hmm. Just to come here. Yeah, just came here. My mother, she came here two years ago. She had a knee surgery. Yeah. And she, she doing pretty good right now. So I saw... Uh, so what are you going to do with the wheelchair? Leave it here? No. Nah, she Does she speak here. English? She speak if, uh, not frequent. What's what? No, she, she just a little bit. Tell her to come here. I'll interview her right no. in front of everybody. Come here. Come bring her here. You, you, you may be seated quickly. So tell her, say to her, God was good to you tonight. Amen. And tell her he healed her whole body. Thank you, God. Yeah. She came all this way. Yeah, she came all this way. She'd been here for three days Are you ago. staying tomorrow too and Sunday, yeah, the uh -huh. whole weekend? Yeah, we stay tomorrow. So you, you paid for an airfare. Yeah. You got a hotel room. We came from Virginia to here. You came from where? Virginia. Virginia to mm -hmm. here. To here. And then, but you paid hotel, yeah, everything. food. Put, investing in recovery. Mm -hmm. This property is all about full recovery. Amen. You're sitting in seats of full recovery here. Amen. Amazing. Amen. Tell her I'm so happy for her. Amen. Amen. No pain. No. No pain. No. Amazing. I, I just, I, I pause every once in a while because, I mean, it is truly amazing. It says in the New Testament, they were astonished. They marveled. It was amazing. Don't lose that wow factor. Don't lose it all. He's amazing. You're so wonderful, Jesus. Don't ever lose that. This is just really, really, really special. What's going on, ma'am? So, sir, are you okay? You can find your way back? You, you don't need a wheelchair no more. And nobody touched her but God. I mean, isn't that amazing? Yeah. Um, I just finished. I just, look at that. She's just walking back. Just another miracle for the evening. One more. See, my question is when you go home tonight, which one are you going to talk about? Yeah. Go out here and have a cup of coffee where someone, which one stood out to you? Which one stood out to you? Which one stood out to you? You chew on this. And you get that deposit inside of you. And this stuff works everywhere. It'll work everywhere. This isn't just for your body. It works everywhere. Oh, yes. I just finished chemo for breast cancer, but the doctor, the oncologist said, you need to come back and have surgery, but right. also they found nodes on the thyroid. Oh. He wants those checked yeah. out too. So, okay. So I don't want any surgery, right. and I want the nodes. 
yeah. completely gone. Well, you should be saying, I receive that I word. I do receive the word that they are completely gone. They scrape no them surgery. off you. Amen. They scrape I receive them. Can you feel them when you swallow? Um, it's caused a lot of burping. Well, can you, all the time. can you feel them now? I can't feel them. When he you drink me. or eat, can you feel them? No, he just told me that they showed up on the PET scan. Uh -huh. Well, that's the fact. That's not the truth. Exactly. exactly. Come on, say the facts change. The, facts change. the truth never changes. Okay. The truth never changes. By the Holy Ghost, we get. Oh my God, the power. Yes, ma'am, quickly. Oh, for the L4, L5, I've yeah. had a pain there for like 30 years. Right. And I felt like that got healed. But I've been in four car accidents, none of them my fault, enemy trying to take me out, and I've just got pain all through my shoulder, my neck. Is it hurting now? You know. It's feeling better. It is. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All of that. When I got hit, I felt like a sledgehammer. You're about to me. get hit again, lady, right? Amen. About. Amen. In a good way. In <laughs> Amazing! Quickly, ma'am. What's going on here? Quickly, what, 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 what? Uh, area four and five. Area four uh, and was five. In uh -huh. Car accident uh -huh. in 1996 and had a bilateral. Effect. Lupus. Somebody <laughs> being healed of lupus. 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 Where are you? Lupus. Hurry, lupus. Get her up here. Hurry. I want you up here. Hurry. I heard it so clearly. Who has the lupus? Which one? The young girl? How long you had this, sweetheart? How long? Go ahead. She's crying. Mom, is it you the mother? Huh? Seven. Who are you, the mother? Yes. Uh -huh. And what, what's, she's had it what? She's had it seven months. Come here. Come here. Why don't you look at her? It's about to change. Yeah. Aren't you glad we serve us? To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Sing it again. To God be the glory. For the thing he has done. With his blood. He has done. All the power. This power, power, Holy Ghost. Get them up, get the mother up and the daughter. Hey, you, what's different? What? No pain? Pain's gone? It's all gone. Lupus is one of the most painful, painful diseases. Uh, she's been in a lot of pain, is this correct? hospitalized in, um, in January, the end of January, uh -huh. with an infection because of all the medicines that they had put her on, her immune system wasn't even able to Because fight. of the pain? Because of um, an infection that she was having really bad pain in her knees, it's how this all started. Does your knees hurt now? Not at all. What's the matter with this place? Remember what we were saying earlier in the evening when you see a break in the rhythm. That's when you check your faith in and you say, Holy Ghost, thank you for the freebie. But man, I'm, I'm all over this. And you, you're a miracle in motion from that point. Come on, say, he gives you faith to start it and faith to finish it. Author and finisher. 
this is amazing. I'm amazed at this. Little girl, what's your name? Madison. Madison. If you get any cuter, I don't know what I'm going to do. So can you run? Could you run before? No. But with pain. And now? No pain. I want to see you run. I want to see you run. Isn't that amazing? Mm-hmm. We expected now, it, huh? I'm telling you, the swelling is going down on her face. I'm going to ask you to be very, very careful from here forward. I can't tell you what to do legally. I'm not allowed to do that. But be very careful with just running with the medication here. She's been wonderfully touched. I've been asking God about the medication. Yeah. Yeah. See, there's a point whenever you're, you have, you just can't, I mean, you can, you can do anything you want to do. But there's a point where God will speak to you through the process. He can anoint the process just like he can anoint the miracle. But somewhere in the process, he wants to intervene. Do you hear me? You don't have to do the full scope of whatever they say. The man knocked on the door and said, I, I have friends coming tonight. I need three loaves. And what did he say? Come back in the morning. Receiving time is in the morning. But the man said, no, no, but I need it tonight. Passion. Passion. Hitting it. Perseverance. And finally the man said, well, since I was going to keep wait till tomorrow morning, but you've changed my mind. I'm going to let you have the three loaves tonight. You can alter the time of your receiving. You got to check into this process. And that's by paying attention to some of these people that are getting healed. And, and, I mean, the last thing you want to do is leave here doubting on any of this. Settle the issue. When they crossed the Red Sea, when Moses turned around, dead bodies floating in the Red Sea, broken chariots. Every miracle should also be a graveyard. You hear me? A graveyard of unbelief. Come on, a graveyard of doubt. A graveyard that God doesn't work. Every miracle is more proof of he's faithful and he will take care of you. Come on, say all of my days. days. As they be, be. so shall my strength be. Come on, give God a big shout. Come on. Wow. Hey, you. So your name again? Madison. I'm sorry? Madison. Madison. I keep forgetting that's a different name. And how old are you? Eleven. Eleven. And no pain anywhere. Is that amazing? Does that feel good? Mm-hmm. That's the first time in a long time you haven't had pain. Is that right? Yeah. Is that amazing, Mom? Where yeah. Are you, where are you from? Socorro, New Mexico. Oh. And how did you hear about the meetings here? I watch BVOVN. BVOVN. <laughs> and you're a partner, too. I'm a partner. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Amazing. You know, when you sow into, you know, KCM, BVOVN, when you sow into that soil, you reap. Here's what you reap. You know what I'm talking about? Come on. Wow. So you're here all weekend? Yes. And you have a da- husband, daddy? What, what's going on here? Yeah, he's at home. Uh huh. He left you come here and said, go get our daughter healed and. Yeah, we just came. We didn't ask. <laughs> oh, I love coming to KC. I have the Eagle Mountain, and I'll tell you, it's always interesting. It's always interesting. Seriously, people, I want you to, I want you to hold your hands on. I want, you, I want you to feel something tonight. I don't want this evening to go by so quickly that you miss the presence or the glory, whichever word you prefer, that goes with all of this. He's close right now. He's in close. He's he's really close. 
these miracles are just snap, crackle, and pop. I know when he's close, and he's close. Take the time. Take the time to let his presence sweep over you. There's nothing quite like it. Don't you leave here. Let, let, him, let him take away those voices out of your head. They're lies. Most of them are lies. He's always threatening you. Always telling you that you're not good enough. None of us are. He don't heal you because you're good. He heals you because he's good. I want you to feel him. Come on, right now. Feel his presence. Bring it into yourself. Bring his presence in. Draw near to him. He said he would draw near to you. Mix that word of God with that presence. Let the word bring it. Mix word and spirit. This property is the perfect balance of word and spirit. Let that heal, to, to come into a room. I'm, I'm still marveling at that 50 years later that under the doorstep. I'm amazed under the step, staircase that God would care so much about that lady that he would pull out 50 years later. All these miracles are good. One isn't better than the other. The lady in the wheelchair from Tanzania, for God's sakes. And he's here for you. That's why we sing what he's done for others. He will do for you. Arms wide open. He'll pardon you. It is no secret what God can do. It is no secret. It is no secret. It is no secret what he can do. It is no secret. Come on, I want you to receive. I just want you to receive. I'm coming back up for those other people with lupus. I'm coming back up for the other people with the lupus, but I want you to receive it. I want you to just receive, just receive, just receive, just receive, just receive. What's going on here with your grandma? She has what? Scleroderma. Uh huh. Come on, scleroderma, grandma. Come on, let's come up here. Grandma looks like she, she, she's going to get hit with a healing, not a reindeer, right here. I tell you that. Come on, grandma. You're about to get hit, woman. Oh, I don't want to hear that. No. I love you too, but it's time to change this. Oh, I agree. There's a new chapter coming in here. But God. I feel the power all over you. Oh, yes. I I feel, I feel the power. Let her go. The power's all over this woman right here. My God, my God. Dear Lord, look at her lay on that chair. Dear Jesus. I don't know how some of you, it's just, come on, you're an usher here. What's your name, Mike? Nick? Come on, Nick. What's going on, Nick? I uh, broke my ankle four weeks ago, uh-huh. and uh, two weeks ago, or when Pastor George had healing school, uh-huh. uh, I was healed. Fantastic. Uh, but in the last couple of weeks, it's been kind of popping and uh-huh. swelling. Uh-huh. And, uh, see, you got to jump on it. When you get that, come on, see, the manifestation doesn't mean you check out of it. Especially if you got it through somebody else, because the devil knows you didn't get it on your own. So it's a relay. That's good. Relays are great, but he wants to see, can you st- check into your own stuff? You should go home here tonight and say, don't you think about coming after me. Man, I got, I'm, I'm locked and loaded with, whoo, dear Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody's getting free over there. I can hear it. I hear it. I said I hear it. My God, come here. Get her out of there. This might be touch this power. Talk to me. Talk to me. I, I had been experiencing headaches over there, and I just been kept saying, I, "I receive, I receive, I receive." And now I, I don't have a headache, but it's just, I just feel free. I just feel free. Get back. 
back here. That's more than a headache. Put your hands up. There's some people you're to pull away from immediately. They're soiling your life. They're not good for you. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Their fingerprints are damning your soul. That's what's causing your headaches. These aren't organic headaches. These are being connected to the wrong people. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Put your hands up. Say, Lord, Lord, give me the grace. Give me the grace. To detach. To detach. From this night. From this night. And follow you. And follow you. Pow. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Come on. Your name is Ha. Come on. Lupus. Lupus. Wow, wow, both of you with lupus. You're, you're fighting lupus? Yes. Never say you have, say you're fighting. Yes, I'm fighting. Have his ownership, I have Jesus. I have the Holy Spirit. Come on, say, have the anointing. I have the anointing. I have the favor. I'm fighting this and that. I don't have that. I'm fighting that. When you do that, you keep the bear on the outside of the cabin. When the bear gets in the cabin, he's a different bear. Yeah. Yeah. Practice that. You'll see something break immediately. You'll have to catch yourself. Because we're so used to saying, I have this and I have that. Just, just listen to what I'm saying. I, oh, my back is killing me. My, I, I have a, I, well, I'm fighting. I'm fighting this cancer. I'm fighting bad eyesight. To make every stand you can, that all counts. That all counts. Engage. The Holy Spirit's in here. He will not do it. He will help you. He's called to help us, not do it. He's not called to paint your house. He's called to help you paint it. He's a helper. Come on, he's a helper. He's trying to get you un, you know, un disconnected from... Just floating downstream. We're awakening everything here tonight, I'll tell you that. <laughs> These services go too quick. Yes, they do. I'm just coming tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. Let me see. I want to, yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be a great teaching. So this lupus, how long have you had fighting the lupus? 10 years. Huh? 10 years. 10 years fighting lupus. You? I went to the doctor yesterday and they sent me home with all of this stuff. She yeah. thinks it's lupus, but I don't receive that report. Now see that, I would never go back to a doctor who thinks. <laughs> I, I, don't want, I don't need you to think for me. Give me your professional, tell me what, what it is, but don't say I think, are you kidding me? Come on, say that's contaminated seed, say it. <laughs> go to a smart doctor. You, you, I see this on the x-ray. This showed up in your blood. That's a fact. We can change that. Denying that won't change it. But putting the name on it, the word on it, the anointing on it will change it. We change the facts. You become your own spin doctor. But don't go to somebody, I think that's cancer. What kind of, that scares a, per, a person. They don't know what they got, what they're fighting. Well, the doctor says what the doctor says. Just check out of that doctor. Or take smart pills, one of the two. Come on, say amen. amen. What are smart pills? Gospel, John. Gospel, Mark. Gospel, Matthew. That's smart pills. Ma'am, you're okay. Look at me. There's not a thing in your body. You're clean. see that. He has just scraped you. Amen. Ezekiel 26.4 is for you the scraping of the Holy Spirit. Right on that power. Come on, give God a shout. Give God a shout. Come on, give him a mighty praise. Wow. What's going on with the chair? Why are you on the chair? I have 1994 
95, I started having back problems. Uh -huh. I had surgery in 2005, um, and I've gotten to a point where I can't walk without a walker. Well, I'm going to say I can walk without a walker now. Okay. I'm receiving this healing tonight. You're getting healed right now. I believe so. Just walk. Your name is... Just go, lady. Go. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll go with you. Come on. Let's go. Get out the way. Somebody give God the praise. Your name. Come on. But I call you. So tell me about your back. It hurts. Um, it's hurting it's as you in, walk. Well, yesterday I went to the doctor and he told me I had to have this knee replaced. Okay, but I'm talking about your back. Tell me about your back. Um, yeah, it had, I was starting to get pain while I was sitting. Uh huh. And but I how do you feel so right much. now? I don't have any pain. No pain. Oh. Let's get you straightened up. Yeah, that's what no, I need I'll, to do. No, 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 no. Huh? I haven't been able to stand straight like this in years. At all. <laughs> So this right here is straight to you, right here. Yes, 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 very much. And I haven't been able to just stand here. I would have to have something to lean on. That's for. amazing, people. Yeah. It's just, I was so excited when I came around here that my heart was pounding so hard. That's why I had to sit on out. the property, you mean, or what? Yeah, here. Well, earlier when you said L4 and L5. Oh, you, that, that word connected. Yeah. Yeah. And I, my heart was just beating so hard and I was just in pain in my Somebody's heart. Somebody's been having a release of blood in your head. Now, I don't know how to describe this because I don't know the actual name of it. Okay, so pay attention. But you're having an experience where you're feeling, um, I'm not sure what to say here. It's, a it's just a release. You feel it in your head. It just releases in your head. Who is this? You're, you're being wonderfully healed. Who is this? This comes and goes. It's been happening more frequent. Where are you? Come to me, ma'am. Bring her to me. This is, uh, this is to avoid a stroke, ma'am. You're going to avoid a stroke. With a stroke is a brain attack, right? Bring her to me quickly. This is a rush of blood against very thin arteries. Her arteries have gotten very... Is yours too? That's you too? Three of you? Three of you? This, you're having that? How often does that happen? Uh, every night. Every night? Yeah. Uh-huh. How long, ma'am, how often does it happen to you? How often? I felt the heat. Yeah, okay, I yeah. got it. I got Ma'am, how often does that happen? Uh, January 25th, I fell from... Oh, you got, you, here's an injury. And then I had a... You have a scar full, there, yeah, a little bruise yeah, there. Full stitches. Yeah. And after that, uh, don't know whether it's healing or my daughter said neurons are uh, attaching back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, something like that, but it's going like that or something like pinch, pinching. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pray for all three of you. Lady, you're the one I'm after tonight. Put your hands up. I'm after all three. God's after all three. But you won't have this any longer. You're, you were on the brink of a stroke. He's pulled you back tonight. He's pulled you back. You're not going to have it, okay? And you won't have those rushes any longer. He's expanding your arteries. He's putting elasticity. He's just going to, I mean, oh, it's just amazing, man. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. Somebody give God a big shout. Come on. Come on. Come on, somebody. Oh. I'm still here. <laughs> yes. I'm in a little bit of pain, but... There's another hernia. Uh, the gentleman that I'm after didn't come up yet. We had one man, but you're here. I know you're a little embarrassed about this. I, I'd rather you come right here quickly. I don't know how much more time we have here tonight. Is it you, sir? Come on, sir. I'm glad you're coming up. Give the man a God bless you. Come on. How long you had this? Uh, probably about a year and a half now. How'd you do it? How'd you... It was your it just I showed think work, up. maybe. It just showed up at some belly, my belly button here. Still there? You sure? Did you? 
just feel a little bit, but it looks like it's going down now. You know when it started to go down? When you got up out of your seat. Amen. Amen. Gone, gone. Somebody better give God a shout. Now, see, figure this out. Say, the anointing, the anointing affects matter. It affects the fig tree. It affects the axe head floating. It affects the sun standing still. It affects things that are. The invisible affects the visible. As we know, you speak to a mountain, and the mountain, again, words, invisible words, take care of the visible. I mean, you've got to practice before it becomes real to you. And that's, this is amazing, that guy right. Sir, can you feel it again? Double check it, sir. Sir in the white shirt. Sir, most handsome man in the whole place. There he goes. He looks. There you go. <laughs> check it again. It's gone down. Is that amazing? Come on, yes, give sir. God a big shout. Come on. Uh, yes, sir. Mine is on this side. You said over here, but mine is right here. Does it matter? It's on the left side. Yes, sir. Is it still there? Yeah. You, you, want sure? it? you can feel it right here if you want. Is it still there? It's get, go, getting smaller. Take your hands out like this. Now, whenever you believe it's gone, whenever you believe it's gone, okay. you touch it. I believe it's gone. It's gone. Yes, sir. <laughs> somebody got somebody. Anybody. Where are you from? Where originally. You from? Where? Uh, Michigan, originally. Michigan. Where do you yeah. live now? Well, Texas, I've been a member here for 25 years. you got a million-dollar smile. You know that. Well, thank you. I paid for it, so. <laughs> power! Come on, give God a power! Come on, give him a shout! He's really, he's really done some work in your heart, your natural heart. Is that right? Pacemaker, Pacemaker there. He's doing some work in that heart. If you want in the days ahead, they'll be able to remove that pacemaker. Wow. Yes. Uh, you called for hernia on the right side, but I actually had one on the left side. Okay. I had surgery a year and a half ago yeah. to repair it. Yeah. And I went in this last week and they yeah. said it's coming back. Okay. And uh, I'm also been struggling with high blood pressure. Is the hernia still there? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Slightly. <laughs> That's the power you're feeling right there. That's the power. It's all over you, sir. It's all over you. He loves you. He washes you tonight. Quit being so hard on yourself. Just fall on his mercy. Quit being so hard on yourself. Fall on his mercy. Fall on his mercy. Come on, ma'am. How are we doing here? I'm doing okay. I just haven't stand in so long that I have to get used to it. <laughs> well, welcome back to the healed world. I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. Come on, say welcome back. <laughs> We're proud of you. Oh, thank you. I just praise God. This is amazing. Yeah, it's very much. Well, so is this a big miracle, a little miracle, what? It's a big miracle. Big miracle. Because I've been pleading the blood of Jesus over my body and for healing, no more sickness, no more disease. And he's... Pastor George, where's Pastor George at? They're just looking for a place to come and receive. These people are working faith, they're reading, they're meditating, looking for a place that'll, that can allow them the atmosphere to receive. Yeah. You know? Give Pastor George a God bless you for doing all this, really. I mean it, that's true. It's a, and it's only 9.30 Texas time.
No. This is, this is so amazing, isn't it? Yes. And where do you live? Um, Corsicana, Texas. Corsicana, where's that at? Uh, south of here, going mm -hmm. towards Houston. Mm. Took some effort to get here. Yeah. You staying the whole weekend? No, we're going back tonight. Tonight? Driving tonight? Yeah. A couple hours? No, it's just an hour. One hour? Yeah. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Happy. You got to quit being so hard on yourself. First Corinthians four four says, Paul said, "I won't even scrutinize myself. I'll wait until that day when the books are open, then he will give me a fair deal." Quit being so hard. You're saved. You're born again. Okay, you love Jesus. There's some loose ends here. Just, just walk with them, but quit being hard on yourself. You'll go nowhere being hard on yourself. Okay? What's going on here, ma'am? You said the Lord was healing in L4, L5. Yeah. And so... Um, what, 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 what? Well, ma'am, would I, you hurry up and say what okay. you want? Uh, so I came to uh, receive total healing. Yes. I've had two surgeries, two back surgeries. Where do you hurt this moment? In this moment, I don't hurt. You don't? No. <laughs> you said all that time to say that few yes, words. Yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> we could went yeah. out and had a cup of coffee. I'm mm. back again. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. You're wonderfully healed. Thank you. Isn't that Jesus. amazing? Yes, thank Never you. Jesus. To Never to come back again. Never to come back. Somebody's yeah. wearing a brace, a, a wrap, a Velcro wrap. You're wearing some kind of a wrap around your torso. Where are you? Who? That's your arm. That's your arm. You're wearing it around. Come. Come to me. Around your. You have a what? Wrap around the stomach. Where, 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 where? Wearing a wrap. That's, I'm looking for around the. You got one on the torso. Why do you have that wrap there? <laughs> I'm sorry? This your wife? This my wife. Why are you wearing the torso wrap? I have a bad back. Okay. Awesome. It's been this way for 15 years. 15 years. I've had five surgeries. Five surgeries. You're about to have another one tonight. My nerves are all in my What's back. Or my, all of my nerves in my back. The doctor said it's like spaghetti in a, in a baggie. And he says you can't do nothing about it. He says there's nothing that can be done for you. Okay, now you look at me. Look in my eyes. Do I seem like a guy's going to lie to you? No, I know you're not. Okay. Do you think I'm going to tell you the truth? Do you believe that? I do. The doctor said, the doctor said, spaghetti. 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 Jesus don't eat spaghetti. Okay, this is, this is the manna word coming your way tonight. This pain's going to leave you. It's going to leave your body. It goes all down my leg. It's going, my well, that, no, the pain does, but the Holy Ghost is going to go down your body. I want you to get ready to receive this, okay? Can you raise your hands? Why do you have this on your hand right here? Because of the nerves. It's what? The nerves all through my body. You, so you, you wear a glove? Yes. Kind of helps. Take it off. Take the glove off. Forget the glove. Plus, I'm a minister. What's that? I'm a minister. You're a pastor. Where, where do you pastor? Well, I, I, because of health, I had to resign my church. Well, well, we got to get you back fired up, right? That part of the Holy Ghost. Put your hands up. Come on, Pastor. Look at me. Look at me. I'm going to touch you up in here. This power is going to go down just the way the pain travels. Oh, you hear me? Also, I've got a pain pump right here. No, you won't have any pain anywhere. Is this your iPhone right yes. here? Yes. Okay. And you're going to be able to walk out of this chair. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you. What's your name? Ron. Ron? Come on, let's sing it. Your name is... Ron. Come on, Dan, in the other. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is power. Okay, I got it, Rick. Don't, uh, don't do that, though. One more time! 
get a bit of pain right there in the bottom of my foot, in my foot. Forget the feet. The feet don't count right now. How's that back doing? It's still better. It is, isn't it? It doesn't hurt. Huh? Not right now. No, no. right now. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Look at me. I want you to relax. You're all tense. Just relax, Pastor. You've done this. You know, you know how this goes. Come on. Just relax. Just rest. This is over. I hate to tell you, you've got to go back to work, Pastor. I call you Lord. This is my, this is my, this is my story. This is my Myelitis. He says what? The doctors say that I have acute transverse myelitis. What is that? Um, I'm not really sure. They say that um, something with my spine attacked itself. Mm -hmm. And that's it's like an autoimmune deficiency. Yes. Disease. Your body attacks itself. Yes. Okay. Have you tried to stand? Yes, I have. And I fell on the floor. You fell on the floor. Where'd you try to stand at? At home? My house, yes. When's the last time you tried to do that? A while ago. Mm -hmm. What do you feel about being here tonight? Happy. Happy? What else do you feel? Anything else? I'm not sure. Anything that tells you you should want to stand? Yes. Huh? Yes. What, 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 what have you felt? What have you heard? What have you felt? I what? want to walk again. You want to walk again? Praising my Savior all the day. This is my story. This is my song. Come on. Praising my Savior all the day long. It's okay. Praising my Savior. Listen to me. Something broke right there. You have the power to stand. You practice again tonight, all day tomorrow. I want to see you here tomorrow night. Yes, sir. Okay? How's that, how's that brace? What's that brace doing in here? It What's that do for you? Keeps my spine from curving more. Uh-huh. So. Well, let's see if that brace goes tomorrow night. Why don't you think about that all day tomorrow, okay? Promise? I can't wait till tomorrow night. We're going to see that happen in that young boy over here. Oh, come on quickly. What do we have here? Uh, yes, ma'am. I have, uh, I can't talk. You what? But my eyes clear up. She has double vision typically, but now who, who, she's, who are you? I'm her niece. You're her niece. Yes. And who are you? Niece. Her niece. Okay, and so you both brought her tonight. We did. And what's what's I going on here? Can't, uh, it's a, I 
can't walk, but my eyes are clear. Her eyes are clear. She has double, triple, quadruple vision. She said her she eyes said are clear. Yes, yeah, she said they're clear. Thank you, Lord. Somebody! Somebody! Oh! Oh! It don't matter what it looks like. It seemed like Jesus was dead. No brain waves, no heartbeat, wrapped up, stuck in a tomb. You're watching that? And it seems like it's over. A lot of things seem like. Seems like you'll never have that house you want. Seems like you'll be paying car payments the rest of your life. A lot of things seem like. They're about to change. When he came out of that grave, you could just hear a lot of people saying, I thought he was dead. <laughs> Say, I thought. I thought. And I thought wrong. <laughs> You're still here. That means there's still time for everything he has for you. I, I don't know what else to do. He's just doing this so amazingly tonight on Miracles on the Mountain. And we have tomorrow night. And... Sunday morning and who knows what? I don't know. Pastor George will be preaching. What's this? My mom just recognized me as we we're standing up here. She was like, where have you Your been? Your mother just recognized you? What's, yes. What was that? It's the big... Not me. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's a friend. No. She, a minute ago, she recognized me as her daughter. And what's big about that? I don't know. Because she doesn't recognize me sometimes. She doesn't remember what's going on sometimes. And uh, she wears a Velcro wrap because she has a... We're fighting a hernia. I see. Yeah, so, but, yeah. That's pretty good news. Well. That's good news, sweetheart. Not That's this one. I was a, uh, my wife did writing. Oh, what? And writing, but I don't, I didn't know much about. Uh, Look at me real good, Mama. Who am I? You, you are. Look at me. I'm not saying I know, I know her well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the, the thing they, they gave her. They put a lot of stuff in, and she's been around the, tuck, the te tuck, Texas and on for a long time. Yeah. She, she's the one that knew it, that knew it the Do world. you know, do you know, ma'am, look at me. Do you know what's about to happen to you? Hey, no, look at me. It daughter. ain't going to make, it ain't uh, going to make. Oh, listen, my, listen, my, listen, my. Listen my. You listen better pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. They, they pay attention. You, you. You, you, you got to pay attention. It's breaking out. Something's happening here. If you want signs, wonders, and miracles, you cannot be afraid of manifestation! They go together! See, there's a verse. There's a verse in Psalm 68, 1. You know what it says? Let God arise. Let him. Let God go. Let him arise. And your enemies be scattered. Yeah. Should be going. Should be. 
should be going, I'm happy all the way home. Two weeks ago. You fell out of the car? I fell out of the car. I was trying to get in the I was trying to get in the car and my husband had parked on an incline. See, you know what she's full of. Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. It's wonderful. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah. She's happy. That lady over there is happy. So I fell out of the car. This lady fell out of a car. <laughs> That's pretty serious, fall out of a car. How fast was the car going? It wasn't going. <laughs> That's the problem. My, we were traveling. Huh. My kids had to go to the I bathroom. think I'm losing control of this service. That's what I think. <laughs> Listen, this is absolutely, this is absolutely, hold on, oh, that's too hot, that's too hot, I'm not going to fool you, thank you, you slapped out of my face now, I'm not going to, I'm going to, by the Holy Ghost, let her go, let her go, let her go. Ma'am, the power. It's the power. It's the power. It's the power. Oh. Amazing. Amazing. She'll be fine. Yes, sir. I came a long way from Africa, Burundi. From where? Burundi, Africa. You came from Africa yeah, to Burundi. be in the meeting? Well, yes. I, I'm living there for 25 years. Uh, I'm a pastor. I'm you came from the, Africa. Shh, shh, shh. I am in the ministry for 25 years now. Uh huh. I need a bigger touch for the healing. You need healing yourself? A bit, but for people who don't have the possibility to pay for the hospitals. And when we do crusades, we want... So you want to, you want to move in healing? Yes, I that you want? that's why you're here. Yes, for the reason why also I need some healing. I'm sorry? My, I need some healing in my body. You need healing in your body? Yes. But I need to be in another dimension. Let's take, care, let's take care of you first. Then you can do what God has for you to do. 
Put your hands up. You're a pastor in Africa. And Holy Spirit, let this pastor receive. Let this pastor, he came all this way. All this way. Go through him like laser. Remove and, and, and put in that which is to be there. Rip out the heart that he has and put in a new heart. Rip it out. Oh, dear Jesus, rend his heart, not his garments. No more works. You're going to rest in the finished work of Jesus. His shed blood. Just say, Jesus, Jesus. I rest in you. In the finished work. In the finished work. I receive it now. I receive it now. Thank you, Jesus. All the way from Africa. Yeah. Yes, sir. Are you talking about the break in the cycle? Yeah. So I've had nonstop pain in um, my neck and my throat, and I've lost almost all the hearing in my ear. Yes. And they gave me a diagnosis of degenerative spondylosis in my wow. four, five, and wow. six. So anyway, just the pressure left, and so I came down. The pressure left. The pressure left. That's wonderful. Right. But everything else is going. What's all, that mean? All the pain. There's, there's been nonstop pain there. Is there pain there now? Yes. There is? It's only, it's only one minute till 10. So if your celebration gets lower and lower, that's either a sign. Now let's just talk about this a moment. It's either a sign that you're just kind of, yeah, there's another one. Or you're getting old. <laughs> or you can't believe we're here this late as it is. Now, if I was you, I'm not you, but if I was, and I was as tired as some of you I know are, you've worked all week. This is Friday. You're watching the Holy Spirit. Let's not, come on, let's not lose perspective. Eagle Mountain International Church. Something's taking place. When I count to three, I want to hear 30 seconds of praise like we haven't heard all night. One, two, three. keep you up all night, so can glory. So can the glory. You come right here with you. You come right here. You, get up here. Get that leopard coat up here. You got to get here, lady. You got to, you got to get here. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. I've had so much that has hindered me receiving. Fibroid God. tumors are leaving. Fibroids. Where are you? Quickly, fibroid tumors, come quick. Fibroids are leaving quickly. Don't wait. Thank you. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Fibroids. No, no, no. So how long you had them, sweetheart? I don't know how long. Huh? About, about a year. Can you feel them? You could. And now? I don't know. You don't feel them. I don't feel them. Come on, somebody! I'm going to shout! (laughs) 
What say you? What do you think of this? It's the Holy Spirit. But it's pretty amazing. We're, we're closing. We're winding down. We're landing this. And God chooses this with you in mind. And you've had these how long? About a year. About a year. You don't have them anymore, sweetheart. You don't have them anymore. Can you? It made my stomach they what? big like I'm pregnant, like seven to eight months pregnant. And now? But I feel the burning in my stomach. You feel burning in the stomach. Yes. And the Lord said he's going to give me a baby. Well, well you married? Yes, I'm oh. married. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, yes. I, before you react, there's so many people that come in our meetings that aren't married. Yes. And they want a baby. I, I'm, I'm being very careful now before I pronounce a baby. <laughs> I want to make sure that it's right. More than, more than I could even tell you about tonight. That's why I asked her that. That wasn't being yes. cute. I was very serious. <laughs> So you're married and you yes. want a baby yes. and you've been trying and how long? Actually, I really haven't been trying. I'm just believing the Lord to just to heal, to heal me. But it hasn't happened in a year, two years, three years, what? No. What? Has what happened? You haven't gotten pregnant? No, no. And it's been one year, two years, um, three years? A long time. <laughs> Ten years. Yeah, it's Ten been a years. long time, been believing. Is your husband here? No, he's not. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do you have children at all? Any children? Mm -hmm. How many? I have a daughter that's 26 years old. Put your hands up. Holy Ghost, we thank you for this precious lady. I just pray that her whole uterus, that whole area be touched and healed. Touch her tonight. Touch. And thank you for removing the tumors. Thank you for removing the tumors. That mighty power. Yes, precious. What's going on, fibroids? Yes. How long you had the fibroids? Um, last year I went for physical. Yeah. I was complaining of back pain, so they did. Uh, they did it over here in the front, and? Uh, my doctor didn't really make. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't really make anything of it. He just told me what was there and what it's already. It's also written in my report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he didn't say anything other than. Uh, lady, house check. No, no, lady, no fibroids. No, nothing. And where are you from, ma'am? Where are you from? Bedford. Mm -hmm. It's close to the And airport. what's your home church? Where do you go to church? The Living Savior Ministries. And you came here tonight and he healed you. Yes. That's so cool. That's it so is. cool. I just think it's so cool. Thank you, Jesus. The only thing is when I'm having you what? My, I said the only thing is when I'm having my period, I have a heavy, very heavy flu. Yeah. But he didn't. I'm not using anything. It's not anything yeah. I feel. Yeah. But other than that. It's over. Yeah. It's just over. Yeah. It's just over. It's just over. Somebody give God a shout. Yes. What's that? Fibroids for 10 years. Fibroids for 10 years, no more. Come on, quickly. I got to get back to this lady. Fibroids? The Holy Ghost, we give you. I'm going to get back to this lady here. Now, ma'am, put your hands up. Oh, my. This is an exciting night for you. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I can tell. Yes, God has been good to me. I was so moved when the little girl came up with Lucas because I work with the cancer yeah. kids. Yeah, yeah. And the Lord has used me. It seems like my power yeah. comes and goes. Yeah. But I want all hindrance gone. I totally submit everything to You got God. to step out more, ma'am. You got to step out of the boat. Okay. Step out of the boat. Ah. Uh, Come on. Yes, ma'am. What's going on here? Tumors. Tumors? Yeah. Where do you have tumors at? In the ovaries. Um, I came here last year to get healed of the other things. And about three, four days later, uh, I had a sharp pain hit me through my leg. Yeah. I'd already had a hysterectomy, and they left my ovaries. We're closing in a few minutes, people. A few minutes, yes. And the pain is still there. And uh -huh. they took out the ovary. Uh-huh. They, they didn't believe uh -huh. I was in such pain. I was asking God, heal me. And What a, what, what a lady. You're just special. <laughs> you are. You, I mean, you have persevered yes. through all of these lingering symptoms. You're back again. You have a no-quit attitude. That's amazing. I, I, I just honor you for that. Put your hands up. Come on. Oh, high near. No half mass stuff. Come on. High near. Let's go. <laughs> this is powerful. 
This is powerful. Never quit. Never give up. As long as you have breath, praise him, serve him, reach for him. Mm -hmm. I know that. I know. I could tell you what you've gone through, but I'm not going to do that. Touch. You're fine. Touch her. Jesus. Yes. Come on, sir. I saw you sitting in the chair over there. What's going on? Uh, I have congestive heart failure. Uh Aha. I've had three open heart surgeries. I'm afraid you're going to get too energetic here tonight. (laughs) I hope so. (laughs) I'm I'm concerned about it. I've had to quit the ministry because of it. You quit? Were you a pastor? Yeah, no, I was an evangelist. Uh-huh. I used to preach on radio. You what? I used to preach on radio. You TV, was on the radio? TV. And TV? And okay. Revivals. Revivals. But I had my first, I had two open heart surgeries. Okay. One in 1980. Right. And I could have uh, developed congestive heart failure. You know about this kind of a service, don't yeah. you? You know about I these do. meetings. Yes, I do. Now listen to me. You're going to receive tonight. I believe it. God, I ask I'm God so for concerned us. about it. Are you married to her? Yes. Oh, lady, lady, lady. For a new heart tonight. He'll be chasing you around the kitchen tonight, I'll tell you. <laughs> He's going to be Mr. Big Time Energy right here. He's she, brushing off. Look at me, sir. All this wrong here. You have, you have some calcification on the valves. Yeah, He's I've brushing one, off. One heart. One blood. I've got more blood going into my heart than it's coming That's out. That's because of the calcification. And then it's swelled up. Yeah, I get that. But he's brushing off this calcification. I've got 20% Sir, heart. sir. Yes, I'm Oh, sorry. dear Jesus, sir. Yes. <laughs> My doctor said I'm too old for a transplant, and my heart's dead. So, Are you hearing anything I, I'm saying? I don't listen to him. Oh, my God. You're <laughs> repeating your doctor who gave you no, graveyard he, news. He, he needs a doctor. He sure <laughs> does. He's a psychiatrist. You need a Holy he Ghost fresh it. oil. That's right. That's right. Power! Hello. Come on, son! We're going to have you all come up in a second here, but right now I'm going to give a couple more of these. We'll be back here again tomorrow morning at what time? And tomorrow night at? What's going on here, girls? She said she had uh, tumors in her chest. Tumors in her chest. And she feels the presence of God. Now, I'll say this, but I want you to, come on, everybody put your hands in the place. Listen to me. You've been, when you sit in water long enough, what happens? You get pruny. My, my point is, there's an effect for being in something. You're going to go to bed tonight. You think it's going to bed tonight. You've been sitting in this all night. Hallelujah. Tomorrow morning, some of you are going to get up out of bed another way. And you bring that story tomorrow night. And we want to hear it. This is amazing. She said she had a tumor above her heart. Where? Above the heart. And then she had one in the center. And then that the one... Does she speak English? No. Oh. And and then she had uh, multiple tumors. What nationality are you? Hispanic. Hispanic. Okay. And she had multiple... um, there's a multi- my, multiple myeloma being healed. Myeloma, myeloma. A, a myeloma is in the building. A multiple myeloma. You're in the building. Come on, oh, the power. Look at this. Look at this. The power just hit her. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Come on, give God a shout. If you don't resist, if you, if you flow with the evening, the power hits you harder and quicker. But because you're afraid or apprehensive, you fight that. She was just, her spirit's crying out for help.
Hers was too. Wait till tomorrow night, I'll tell you that. Wow. Wow. See, she's being, one, it hit her. What? Holy Spirit. We just can't sing about him and him not show up. You can't honor him and him not show up. When you walk out and get in your car, he'll be in that car tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's not going to just leave you at the door. He brought you here to get on you and to get in you. Amazing. Amazing. A few more minutes. A few more minutes. You're back again. What's going on? Huh? I got a gorge on my thyroid. Okay. You called it. I'm here. And you're here. And who's this? I have no you don't know him. No. She's here too. <laughs> The way you were standing there, I thought you knew him. Right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joe. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's getting very late here tonight, I'll tell you that right now. Where's your husband at? I want to see how, bring him up quickly, the man right here. What's his name? Is he a pastor, a reverend? His name's Roland. Roland Wright. Who? Roland Wright. Roland. Oh, thank you. Rowan, look, look at you. <laughs> oh, oh, what? I've been having trouble breathing all week. I'm breathing pretty good right now. <laughs> Come on! Come on! To God be the glory! Stand for a moment with your hands high in the air. He's still moving. Listen to me. You don't stir God up to this level and he quits when the lights go out. That would be nonsense. He's stirred up on the inside of you and he's working. And no, we didn't get to every condition that's here, but he knows. He's working on you. He's working on the, all those body parts. He remembered a girl from 50 years ago, locked under the steps every day. The scarring that would be there. I, I, I mean, I remember a lot of what happened tonight, but that to me is, uh, I don't know even what the word for it, except for abuse at a high level. I don't know what to even say. Some of the despicable things that happened to people. 
I know you're here tonight. I know there's other things here tonight that have happened to you. He wants to cleanse you tonight and heal that. You got to let him. You got to let him. You got to let him heal you. Mm. When Peter met him on the shore after the resurrection, Jesus asked those famous questions, do you love me, do you love me, do you love me? He could have said, Peter, I'm back, don't worry about it. You made a mistake, let's just move on. He didn't do that. If he didn't confront Peter with, with what he had done, he would never be free from it. He only confronts you to get rid of anything that's going to hinder your future. How many want a future here tonight? Let me see. I mean, how many want a better, greater future? How many like things to break wide open and nothing sandbag your progress? Something come calling for you in five years or ten years. Then open up tonight with your hands up. Let him touch places that maybe haven't been touched for a long time. One thing with a renewed mind, you can look at things a lot more healthy and get a deeper forgiveness and get a deeper cleansing. Be healed tonight. Let people go. Let the people that have hurt you, release them. They're not yours to change or to challenge or to discipline. Don't take hostages. Travel light. Travel light. Get the feeling of being made whole. Let your children go far past you. Your grandchildren. Say these words with me. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Deep calls unto deep. deep, calls unto deep. Cleanse, me. Cleanse me. Deep down in my soul tonight. Deep down in my soul tonight. Anything that's lingering there. That has escaped all of the meetings and all the Bible studies, all my efforts. Go down deep tonight and scrape me clean. I want nothing, oh, no residue from my past hurt, all those rejections, all those stories. I'm no longer a victim, and I will not buy victim theology. I'm born again with a new nature, a new birthright, headed in a new direction. And I don't want to be drugged back into the mud. So heal me tonight. Help me release all the people that I need to release and forgive and let them go. I got a job to do. The work of the ministry, walking in a faith, in a realm I've never known before. Thank you for tonight. My yoke is broke. In Jesus' name. Come on, give him a big shout. Come on. Come on, give him a big, big shout. Oh, dude. Amazing. What a night, Pastor. Where are the pastor? Oh, my, Pastor. Pastor. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, amazing. It is. This miracle's on the mountain one and this is two, three. Africa, Tanzania, yeah. Michigan, yeah. Yeah. Alabama. I think we have some Fort Worth people. Who's from Fort Worth? Where's that noise coming from? Way where? Way, way, oh, way back there? Way back there. I can't, I can't see it. I'm sorry. She's on the floor? Wow. Okay. That's good. That's all good. She's venting or whatever. That's good. 
If she's making noise, she's alive. Come on, say amen. <laughs> right? <laughs> What'd you sense all night? I saw you over here. What was you? It's, th this is a new level. This is a new, this is a place where we've not been before. And it's, it's thrilling to see how we've gone from faith to faith, from glory to glory. And I, I'm just looking forward to tomorrow. Mm. What's going to happen tomorrow? You know, you know what I noticed tonight? Yeah. There's more spontaneous occurrences. Yeah. Yeah. That, that means the atmosphere is changing to a, yeah. a heavier presence. So that means God is saying it's safe for you to, to receive. It touches my heart. Yeah. Madison. Yeah. Yeah. Madison. 11 year old Madison. Free from lupus. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Lord. I'll let you, thank you. I'll let you take it. Praise God. Oh, come on, give God a shout of praise, everybody.